Praise the Lord. Welcome to Life in the Word. My name is Minister Manny Renee Jr. Happy to my left. Minister Carla. Amen. Thank you for being here for Life in the Word. As you come in, please like, share, and subscribe. Amen. We thank you for being here with us on Life in the Word. Yes. We'll be talking about seasonship. Ooh. Amen. The season of exit and the season of entry. Amen. Come on now. So we have, uh, if you've been watching all week long, we, we, we pray that the Word has blessed you thus far. Yes, it is. We've been in Numbers chapter 13. We last left off in verse 32 where Caleb quieted the people before Moses and to calm them down because they were now, the spies were bringing back the report as they were spying the land of Canaan, a land promised for the children of Israel. Yes. Amen. So God told uh, Moses, gave them the order to look at the land, to spy the land, look at the produce of the land, look at the fertility of the land. Amen. So that they can now bring a report back onto the children of Israel. So last and Verse 30, Caleb quieted the people before Moses and said, let us go up at once and take possession of it, for we will certainly conquer it. Amen. So Caleb is confident yes. Come um, on, on Caleb. what God has shown and what God has Come shown on, them Caleb. in their spying of the land. Mm -hmm. And he said, now it's time. And see, and you got to know when it's time. Yes. You have to know when the time is right. Yes. Come on. Your season is right. Mm -hmm. Your season is ready for you. Amen. So he's saying, let's go and conquer the land. Mm -hmm. But we had some of the spies that had gave a bad report about the land, which they had spied out, saying that the land through which we went in spying out is a land that devours inhabitants, right? Because the, the descendants of Anak were there, the children of, um, descendants of the Nephilim, which were the giants, right? Um, were there in the land, inhabiting the land. And see, you can't be afraid what's bigger than you. Come on. You can't be afraid what you think you cannot handle. Yes, come Amen. on, sir. When you look at verse 33, it says there was, there they saw the Nephilim, the sons of Anak, are part of the Nephilim. And we were like grasshoppers in our own sight. And so we were in their sight. Amen. Amen. So as you look at the spies, their point of view, their ability to conquer the land was very low. Come on. Because sometimes you look, again, you're looking at your ability. God, how can we take out this mm -hmm. these, these descendants of Anak, these come giants, on. when their statue is bigger than come us? Come on, come on. But when you have a God that is on your side, come on now. It doesn't matter what giant stand before you. Come on, Jesus. When you look at David, let's go talk about David. Let's go talk about come David. On. When when Goliath was taunting the children of Israel. Yes. Come on, you had David say, who is this uncircumcised Philistine? Come on, come on now. Come on, and then what did David do? Come on, he, he said, so so you got to have an attitude like David that's come tired on. of hearing come the on. giants talking your yes. ears. Yes, <laughs> I see, them. You got to, you, <laughs> sometimes you just got to stand up to that giant. Yes. Come on, and take down what you've been scared to take down. Come, come on. on. So he, what did he do? He get that stone, he uh -huh. swung that stone, and hit take Goliath it. right mm. in the forehead. Took take him down. down. Amen. So you got to take down giants. And when God is with you, there's nothing. Impossible. Impossible. Come on. Nothing is impossible when God is with you. Yes, nothing. Amen. So you got, you, 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 you got to stand up to some things. Mm. Come on. And stop living a life behind the scenes. Come on, minister. Come on. Ooh. Because when, when David went to, to that camp, David initially... Uh, was bringing food for his brothers. Yes, you talk, you're talking to somebody out there. Come on, come and on. And his brothers, even his brother was like, what are you somebody. doing here? Mm -hmm. Come on. And then you had Saul putting on the, the armor on David, like <laughs> the armor going to take down the giant. <laughs> come on. You're encouraging somebody out there. No, but David, but David knew the Lord of hosts was with him. Yes, he had faith. He knew he had faith. He, he knew had that faith. God was with him. That little boy had come faith. On. I don't need your armor. No. I don't need what secures you. you know. I, I have security already in Come God. on, Jesus. Come so on. So you, you can't be afraid. Come on and look at yourself and say you're a grasshopper. Come on, because you're not. You know what it is? Some of us, when we go before people, mm -hmm. you, you call yourself grasshoppers. Mm -hmm. yeah, you, feel like, you feel like there's some rooms you can't be in because of people's titles. Come on, Jesus. You feel like you can't even go to certain people because you feel like they're on another level than you. Come on. But God is going to bring down that, that mindset. Mm -hmm. Come on. Which is a giant before giant. you. Come so on. that you cannot step to certain things in your life. I Amen. Like that. Come on. You got to defeat some things. Come on. When we go to um, verse 14, uh, chapter 14 in Numbers, it says, Then all the congregation of Israel raised their voices and cried out, and the people wept that night. All the Israelites murmured in discontent against Moses and Aaron. 
and the whole congregation said to them mm. on that we had died in the land of Egypt or that we had died in the wilderness. Why is the Lord bringing us into this land of Canaan to fall by the sword? Our wives and children become plunder. Would it not be better for us to return to Egypt? Mm. So they said one to another, let us appoint a new leader and return to Egypt. So we have the Israelites murmuring in discontent against the leader Moses. Mm. Mm. Murmuring says you ain't ready. Yes. When you begin to murmur, don't play, man. Mm. You begin to show God that you ain't ready to. Yes. Come on, to, to obtain and to conquer mm -hmm. and to go into the land of your promise. Yes, of your promise. Come on. And this is why leadership is important yes. because Moses was the one letting the children of Israel yes, know he was. that it's time. It's time. Come on. See, Moses loved the children. Yes. When you have a good leader who loves you and he's guiding you, you shouldn't have questioned two times. Yes. Not even a question or a doubt should come in your mind. As soon as it comes, you bring that down because the enemy yes. try to take your faith so you when we have what God tell that leader that is yours. Amen. Mm. Yes. So Moses was a great leader. He wanted the best for his congregation. Right. And because he wanted the best for his congregation, he prayed to God. God answered him. Yes. But the people, and as you said, you got to, they said the people wept all night. Yes. These people was hurt. Um, hope deferred made the heart sick. Mm -hmm. They got sick in their heart mm -hmm. because of one negative, you understand, negative people. Yes. And that's why you got to believe God for yourself. What did God tell you? Yes, yes. And if God tell you something, you go with what God tell you. God didn't tell the person next to you what God tell you. Yes. Yes. And you have to have faith and trust your leader. Amen. Amen. And that and Moses was a reassurance to them. Yes. Because Moses knew what God said. Yes. Moses got the order from God mm -hmm. himself. Order from God himself. Come on. It's God speaking face to face with Come Moses. Come on. So, so, they, so they ain't no deny what God is saying, Moses. Moses got the order. And we now got to get the people ready. Come so on. So it's hard to get people to, to, to go where God sometimes wants you to go mm. because they don't have the faith and they don't have the belief. They Come discontent. On, and Talk not only do you. they want to stay where they are, mm. they want to go back to where, come on, what, what kept brought, them brought bound, what brought you from. So a lot of us, we are comfortable in Egypt and, and we have to good. get out of there. Yes, that's We have to good. get out of bondage. We have to get out of, um, of, of contentment, of being enslaved mm -hmm. into faithless environments and faithless see we cry see once where we once cried we want to go back to yeah but we once cried because some of us are comfortable of crying mm. Mm. or what's old wow we want it's easy to cry what's old yeah that's good because I want to go back to the onions and the leaves. I want to go back to, to what's sure in my life. Yes, yes. I want to go back to even, even if it's a place that I don't believe, a season where I don't believe, come on, that I should be and I'll go back. Can you imagine that? For the sake of being discontent of trying to go into a future. Wow. Come on, sir. Come on, sir. That's good. Yeah. Because we cried over some stuff and said, God, only if you get me out. Yes. Or we cried and said, God, I am tired. And God was listening to the cry all the time. Yes. And finally got you out, you want to go back? That's an ungrateful person. Yes. Because you got to see, if you trust God, you trust him all the way. Don't matter what it looks like, as you said earlier. Don't matter what you see in front of you, what did God say? You got to walk it by faith. I walk by faith. And you got to go take it, as you said. Turn the next chapter of your life. The next chapter of your life is what God tell you. Right. No matter how it looks. No, no matter how it looks. So verse 3 says, why is the Lord bringing us to the land of Canaan to fall by the sword or our wives and children will become plunder? Mm. Amen. When he says plunder there, uh, little ones, right? So would it not be better for us to return to Egypt? So they said to one another, let us appoint a new leader and return to Egypt. Then Moses and Aaron fell on their faces before all the assembly of the congregation of the Israelites. Joshua, the son of Nun, and Caleb, the son of Jephunneh, who were among those who had spied out of the land tore their clothes as a sign of grief. And they spoke to all the congregation of the sons of Israel, saying, The land through which we pass as spies is an exceeding good land. If the Lord delights in us, then he will bring us into the land and give it to us, a land which flows with milk and honey. My God, only do not rebel against the Lord. Come on. And do not fear the people of the land. So this is the reassurance. Do not fear. 
God is with you. God is with you. Do not fear who is in the land. Come on, come on. It's for you. It's for you. Go after it. Come, come on. on. Don't fear or what you're looking at. Yes. Don't be fearful of what you think you cannot obtain and yes, conquer. Lord. God is with you. Yes. And you have to say, Lord God, give me the reassurance. Give me the reassurance Help me to God. be reassured mm -hmm. even in the time of negative reports, mm -hmm. in the time of even me yes. where my sight, mm -hmm. even though I see the goodness of the land, I'm seeing that God, that this is for me. Mm -hmm. But I have times of doubt and I have times where I don't believe that you are with me. Come on, but God, me reassure me as jo on. Joshua, the son of Nun, Come on, was reassuring the people. Come on, because you got to get tired and be like Joshua and said, I'm tired of being stuck in the process. That's I got right to, here. because the sign of being tired mm -hmm. is when you begin to rip off your old clothes. Come on, come on, come on. I'm tired of wearing the same old thing. Tired. I'm tired of having the same mindset. Yes. I'm ready for new. I'm ready, I'm ready to, to, to conquer. I'm ready yes. to obtain. Come on, you got to tear off the old clothes in grief yes, and say, yes. Lord, I'm sick of it. Tired. Come on, I'm tired of it. Come on, you gotta get tired. I'm tired of being the same old mm -hmm. things, the same old process, mm -hmm. the same old cycles. Come on. Come on. So he said, the land through which we pass as spies is exceedingly good. And the Lord delights in us, and he will bring us into the land and give it to us. All right? Verse 9 says, only do not rebel against the Lord. Don't rebel in this season. Come on. Don't go against God and don't what he said that. in this season. Yes, don't do it. Don't go against what the word of the Lord. If somebody, come on, you may have got a word of the Lord, but don't go against it. Come on. Mm. Don't go against the word. Because yes. sometimes we look at the word, and even though it's God's word, we rebel because your, 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 your love with Egypt allows you to mm. disobey God. My God, my God, the love with Egypt. Come on. Mm. You love the lashing. You... You, you, you love the abuse. Mm -hmm. Come on. You love the, 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 the schedule. Yeah, yeah. Because you know how you're going to be fed. Mm -hmm. You know, you you, you do you had a, 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 a <laughs> nine to five, so you know how things were going to, the clocking in and the clocking yes, out. Yes, yes. See, you, you love, see, we love the routine. Yes. Come on. But God wants to take us out of routine. Yes, yes. So now that you can have your own. See, God was interested in giving the children of Israel their own. Their own. Come on, your own. Come on, you got to have your own. Yes, your own. Glory to God. Mm -hmm. Right? So he said, don't rebel against the Lord and do not fear the people of the land, for they will be our prey. Their protection has been removed. Come on, has been removed from them. And the Lord is with us. Do come not on, fear them. Come on. God is be come on. God is clear. <laughs> God is clear. Come Do you hear what God said? He said the protection, the protection has been removed. Mm. Ooh, that tells you I'm not right here. The protection, <laughs> the hedge of protection over the enemies has been removed. Has been removed. So God is Ooh. saying, you have a green light. Yes, you can pierce them. <sighs> My God. <laughs> they can't do nothing to you. No, slew them. You can slew them. <laughs> Come on. They can. You, you, they could be negative all they want. Yes, yes. Them giants, they can have them big swords <laughs> all they want. They could be 10 feet tall, 13 feet on, tall. Come on, come they can on. have a, come on, a, 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 a face as, where their smile is upside down. It, it, don't, <laughs> it, it don't matter how they look. God removed the protection of your Isn't enemies. That something? So this is why I say it Ooh. is the time. Mm, the love of God. It is the time. Come on. The Lord is with us. Do not fear. So the only thing that would have kept them back was fear. 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 The only thing that will keep you back from your next season it's is fear. fear. True. It's not that God don't have a thing for us. Yes. It's that we allow fear to hinder. Yes, yes. We allow fear to stop us. Yes, fear will paralyze you. Come on. Mm -hmm. And this is why, see, when God shift your season, mm -hmm. he disconnect you from fearful people. Come on now. Come on now. There are some people, no matter who they are, only go from point to point in your process. But there may be a chapter now that you're Come going on. to the, that, that requires greater faith. Yes. And you can't fight with somebody that's fearful. No. You cannot. You can't walk with people that are fearful no, anymore. No, you cannot. You got to cut them off. Come on. Enough of the chitter chatter. Mm -hmm. We need to fight. <laughs> we need to go take possession of a land. Yes, let's go. And you need to know if people are either with you uh -huh. or they're against you. Yes, yes, that's good. Come on. That's good. 
That's good. You got to get rid of them. You got to get rid of fearful people. Yeah, fearful people. You got to fearful walk with people with faith. People. Faith. People. Yes, because their protection has been removed. God has given you everything. Yes. It's in your hands already. Yes. Go forward and take and possess it. Uh, move from all the fearful people. Move from all the fearful mm. people. Amen. Amen. But amen. That's our Thursday. Amen. We pray the word bless you and encourage you. We'll be back here tomorrow on Friday. Yes, my name again is Minister Emmanuel Renee Jr. I have to my left. Mr. Carla. Please remember Jesus, Jesus is Lord. Lord. God bless you.